What is going on guys and welcome back to another very exciting video. In this video, we're going to be talking about a stock that I don't talk about a whole lot on the channel and that is Tesla. And Tesla, I like to always do a check in every few months to see where it's trading at and see where its valuation is at because a lot can change with the business over a couple quarters. So what we are doing in this video is we are going to check in. We're going to take a look at Tesla's valuation. We're going to see how it compares to other companies that have similar types of valuations. And then we're going to take a look at what analysts are expecting for earnings over the next two years. And then we will take those earnings and actually come up with a potential price target for Tesla. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. First things first, let's take a look at Tesla's chart. Tesla is another stock that goes through a lot of volatility. Here they moved down almost 1% in a trading day. Over the last five days, they've moved up almost 7% over the last month. A lot of volatility in here. We can see that they moved down almost 17% and then turned around and moved up almost 15% and now have kind of settled down a little bit. Over the last six months, we could see that they again have a lot of volatility down 31%. But if we go from the highs here back in September down to the low we could see that that is a 62% drop. And then again, from these lows up to where they are sitting at now, we could see that the stock moved up almost 100%. And from all time highs, we could see that the stock is trading down almost 55%. Back in the December, January timeframe, we actually saw Tesla fall below a 25 forward PE ratio. And compared to where it typically trades around a 45, that is actually a very low valuation. And when we actually look a year ago, we could see that even at times, investors are willing to pay triple digits for a forward P ratio on Tesla. And the only other company that I'm really aware of that seems to trade at a very high valuation for a very long period of time is Amazon. We can see here that Amazon right now is sitting around a 60, but over the last few quarters, they've traded anywhere from a 40 all the way up to a 65 forward P ratio. The issue I always run into with companies like Tesla and Amazon is their PE ratio. When we look at the broader market, we can see that right now the S&P 500 is trading around a 22 and a half PE ratio ratio. And overall, over the last decade, we can see that it typically trades anywhere from about a 20 to a 24. And obviously there is some extremes in here. This is back in 2020 when there was a lot of concerns over earnings and when earning estimates come in low and earnings come in low in general, you're going to see PE ratios spike up. But it's always important to keep in mind, this is what you are paying. So you are paying 23, 22 and a half dollars for every dollar of earnings that a company is generating. And that is an important way of looking at a PE ratio and how you are considering your valuation metrics for a business. With that said, you do not want to discount growth and Tesla is definitely a growth based company. We can see back in 2018, they had one of their first profitable quarters and then the company dipped down a little bit in terms of its EPS. But since then, they have really continued to grow their quarterly profitability. We can see five cents here back in 2019, all the way to where they're sitting at right now of a dollar and seven cents of earnings in the latest quarter. And in terms of the next couple of years, we could see that analysts actually have Tesla continuing its growth. So in 2023, they have an average estimate of $3.91. And then in 2024, they actually have a $5 and 47 cent average estimate with a low estimate for each year of 301 and 390 respectively. And then a high estimate of $4.76 for 2023 and $8.31 for 2024. In my opinion, this might be a little out of the realm of possibility, but let's go ahead and jump into what these EPS numbers could mean in terms of the stock price. Over here in green, we have those EPS predictions by analysts. So we have the average estimate again at $3.91. That actually comes out with the current price to a 48.70 forward P ratio with a $3.01 estimate. That is actually a 63.26 forward P ratio. And then with the high estimate for 2023 of $4.76, we can see that the forward P ratio right now is sitting around a 40. So with those EPS numbers, we can actually come up with price targets for the stock. And right now we have, again, of Tesla trading around a 48.70 forward P ratio based off the average estimate for earnings. And what we saw is Tesla seems to trade anywhere from a 45 forward P ratio to a 60. And when we take that into consideration, we would actually say that Tesla has the potential to drop almost 8% to $175.95. Or it could, if it traded at a 60 valuation, it could trade all the way up to $234.60. If we look at the low estimate for earnings, we actually see see again that the forward P ratio would be around a 63.26. And what that means is the stock would need to trade down to hit the valuation of a 45 to 60 forward P ratio. So it could trade anywhere from $135.45 up to $180.60. And that could be a 5% downward move all the way up to a 30% downward move. If we look 
look at the high EPS numbers, things actually get a little bit interesting. So we could see the current P ratio at the high EPS estimate would be a 40 forward P ratio. Again, we have a potential of a 45 to 60. And what that would mean is the stock would trade anywhere from $214 up to $285. And that would be a 12% to a 50% upward move. With all that said, you want to keep in mind that Tesla is a growth company. So what we have over here are two interesting numbers. This top one, the $8.31, that is the high estimate for 2024 from analysts. And we can see that the forward P ratio in terms of that would be sitting at a 22.91. And again, if we consider that Tesla could trade anywhere from a 45 to 60 forward P ratio, we actually get a price target of anywhere from $373.95 all the way up to $498.60, which would be anywhere from a 96% return on the current stock price to 161% return. In my opinion, this $6.14 number is a lot more realistic for 2024. What we could do is we could actually jump back over to this chart of their earnings, and we could see that in December of 2021, they actually had 68 cents in earnings, and then by this year, they actually had $1.07 in earnings. And what that equates to, we could see down here, is a 57% growth rate. So if we jump back over here, we could see the calculation that I ran on this. So we basically took their average earnings estimate for 2023 and then multiplied it by 1.5 seven to get an earnings of $6.14. And when we do that, we could see that the forward P ratio is sitting around a 31.02. And then again, if we compare that to a 45 to 60, we could see the stock trade anywhere from $276 all the way up to $368, which would be a 45 to 93% return on the current stock price. So in my opinion, I think Tesla has a lot of growth in front of it. Personally, at this price, I'm not buying. I think there's a little bit more downside than upside. I wish I had purchased obviously back a few months ago when it was sitting around $113. That would have been a great price to get into. But you know, right now it's too late. I put my money in other companies and honestly, I'm okay with that. Right now I've been looking at Meta and Google, but if Tesla were to drop back down into like a 125 range, I think it starts getting very interesting again. So that is all my opinion. Make sure you are doing your own research on these companies. Do not buy a company just because some random guy on YouTube talked about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. And as always, guys, have a wonderful rest of your day.